Walter Ova called you. You're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. This week we have something very special for you. As you can see behind me, one of the most iconic sites in Ireland, Crow Patrick. And the reason we're here is because there isn't a person in Ireland who hasn't heard about Climb for Charlie. Charlie Bird, one of RT's great reporters, who uh, sadly was diagnosed with motor neuron disease. So rather than sit at home and do nothing, he came up with this initiative, along with his wife Claire, to raise funds for motor neuron and indeed for Pieta. And today is the big day for the climb. People have travelled from all over the country and they're joined by some of the best known celebrities here as well for that climb. There's great music at the summit and uh, lots of things happening up there. We'll be telling you about that later on in the programme. Welcome to uh, the foot of uh, Crow Patrick. Yeah. Day has finally come. Yeah. And uh, how are you feeling now this morning? Very good. Very happy. Lovely to be in Mayo. And all Mayo We've I, been made honorary Mayo people, haven't yeah, we, Bird? The yeah, mayor yeah. gave us our lovely badges the other day. So, yes, we're honorary mm. citizens of Mayo. Yeah. And we're very proud. Very proud. Yeah. <laughs> and the you? There you go. And you've been in Mayo for the last couple of days. Yeah. We get the fantastic yeah, reception yeah. all around the county, yeah. haven't you? Oh, yeah. listen, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've made great friends here. And without Father Charlie oh, or oh, Dennis Harrington, we wouldn't have actually, oh, yeah. this wouldn't be happening. I know, we're very demanding. Everything we've asked <laughs> for has happened. And people here are amazing. The main thing we're doing it. We want to send the hand of friendship to everyone. Yeah. To every single brother. And we're more and then the hand of friendship Mandela. to everyone. We, we interviewed a man that climbed Copac this mm. morning at four o'clock and he came down and we asked him how it went but he's, the one thing I thought was very, and there's another friend of ours Gordon Maher here in the music business and he said you know if there only there was more Charlie Birds in Ireland true. this would be a great country yeah. <laughs> it's true it's true it's true, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Gordon yeah. Maher there said yeah. that yeah. Yeah. and tell me you've, you hit the million today yeah. Yeah. how does that feel amazing yeah. we didn't even think we'd hit the million that was kind of just I'm our goal I'm 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 a million and a half. We think a million and a half. Wow. Yeah. We do. It's yeah. going to be amazing at the top. And look what the weather oh, today. The sunshine. Unbelievable. God is shining down in your yeah. 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 Listen, great. Congrats and well done and clear. Thanks, man. And good luck Thanks. with the climb today. Thank you very much. Inspector Dennis Harrington, uh, Westport uh, District. Of course, uh, this MERS comes under your jurisdiction as well. So uh, a lot of planning in today's event. There has been, but there's a great amount of support from the local communities, the local volunteers that have turned out all the way through this, the businesses, the community groups. Everybody has just rallied together to make this a, a success today here. So a lot of guarding on duty today. Any idea of what you're expecting? It's, we don't know is, is, the honest, is the honest answer, but today, it isn't about numbers uh, here in, in, in Morrisk. It's about the, the event. It's about the uh, volunteering. It's about the ch fundraising for the various charities. And there's between 150 and 200 different locations around the country where people have been registered to climb. So today is about climbing in all these different locations. Uh, for today here in, in Westport and Morrisk, in Crowpatrick, this is about Charlie's own family, friends, colleagues doing their climb. And that's what we want to make sure that it's a successful day and, and, and a safe day for everyone. And there will be big crowds coming here or whatever, but our plan is to have everyone moving through safely and uh, no, no major disruptions. And that'll be a success for us. We're joined by two uh, Mayo football legends here, one uh, working and the other climbing. Alan, Chris, I see you here. Yeah, Go, Patrick. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, the energy is building and uh, it's great to see Charlie and Claire arriving. And uh, I think, you know, there's been a long build up to this, but today finally has arrived. I think, you know, the awareness that Charlie has brought to, you know, Motor Neuron and also for the other fantastic charity, Pieta, has been, you know, um, 
hugely important and uh, it's great to see so many people here supporting uh, two fantastic charities. Colm, you're on duty today, you won't get a chance to climb the mountain, but quite a crowd here, isn't it? Ah yeah, it's brilliant, it's, it's building steadily as, as the morning goes on, perfect morning for two so far, so ah yeah, it's a great day, as Alan said, there's great energy around the place, great bows, and I think everyone's lo looking forward now to getting going, there's obviously a few people after sitting off there up the mountains uh, already, so yeah, looking forward to today as it progresses. I had this planned here for sticks for the reek, like to help the people to climb the reek because it's a it's a hard climb. This is very personal for you as well, isn't well, it? It is because uh, I had a son that uh, he um, he passed away yeah. in '99 uh, with suicide, and I had a sister that that died from uh, motor neuron, and she spent four or five years having it. And she never gave up. She was a nurse in the hospital in Castle Bay. And she never gave up until about a fortnight before she died. And she, she said she had motor neuron. George Lee, great to see you. The last time we met was at the Bunny Condon show before the lockdown. And here you are in Crow Patrick today. I am, and the weather was a bit worse then than it is today. Let's hope it stays like this because it's a stunning day. Great day for a climb for people, really, isn't it? Uh, no rain, and um, it looks like the view should be pretty good if the cloud clears to the top of the mountain. How, have you climbed Crow Patrick before? Yeah, uh, I got as far as, you see that statue up there? That's it, twice. And each occasion that I was there, I saw people being carried down with injuries. Just that far now so yeah, I know it's a dangerous enough climb at the top and fingers crossed everybody will be okay today and I know you work closely with uh, Charlie over the years they're reporting there with RTE uh, and I suppose it was important for you maybe to to do this today oh yeah absolutely see the I suppose it's so important for Charlie I think I think we could see that when he told his story uh, he got a huge lift from the public response <laughs> It's a bit like uh, they say birds don't fly on one wing and the second wing for Charlie is obviously the support that he's got and it's really given him a huge lift so it's very important and very important for the causes I think which is which is championing today as well as Vicky Phelan and um, let's hope it goes well for the day. Well, not exactly the three amigos, but the nearest thing to them, because legends in the music business, and Mick Bracken, of course, here with his videos and oh, making yeah. music all the artists. Gordon Mar, you have a big show tonight as well, yes, uh, we an after uh, party. Rula Bulia, our uh, first appearance in the Castle Court, the, the venue there. We're really delighted to be there, and uh, it's our first time in Westport, and it just so happens that it's on one of these great days of the calendar in Ireland over the last couple of years because the last couple of years have been very hard for everybody but in fairness to Charlie Bird he has really brought the country together and if there was more of him in the country I think the country would be a very better place but Westport is an amazing place and me OTV and Midwest Radio and yourself Henry is doing great work for the west of Ireland and uh, I know you don't have the Taoiseach here anymore <laughs> but uh, he, uh, he done great work for you when he was here and uh, I'm sure that uh, it's going to continue here in the west of Ireland because the west there's no better place in the world than the West. So you all said, Liv, this, uh, have you climbed Crow Patrick before? Uh, I have, Henry. I think it was around 2018, I think, and then I had a heart operation in 2019. So I always said after that I, I'd try and get back and sure, no better time to be here when Charlie support Charlie. And I remember I was telling the boys there last night uh, down in the, in the Castle Court that I remember I spent a bit of time in America and I, I was talking to one guy down in Florida who I worked for a while and he said to me, you know, Steve, he says, one thing we have, he says, is we have Mickey Mouse. But you know, I said to Gordon last night, one thing Westport has is Crow Patrick. Ah, yeah, great. <laughs> Mick Bracken, of course, uh, we see his music on TG Car and all great country music uh, all over the country. Have you climbed Crow Patrick? I've, I'm, I've several times when I was a cameraman for RT and BBC and TG Car and all that, but um, I used to hike a big camera up there as well. But uh, it's great to be back. But I worked with Charlie for about 10 years with RT, and uh, I can't wait just to see him here today. As, you know, and that's like I've known this area very, very well. Done a lot of music videos like yourself. Never that, you know. So, but it's a, yeah, I'm really looking forward. But um, 
I'll tell you one thing, we won't be talking as good when we come back down. <laughs> well, look, at, enjoy the walk anyway and uh, enjoy the celebration because it is a celebration it's tonight as well. It's to be yeah. a celebrity today, isn't it? <laughs> Four people actually, a whole family togged out for the climb, ready to take the climb. Come down from County Galway, even though you're Mayo. That's right, we're from, well I'm from Tormacady originally, but we live in my Cullen these days, just outside of Galway. And we're doing the climb today in memory of my brother Tommy Heaven, who passed away about six years ago. And growing up, Tommy and myself would have been watching the TV and seeing Charlie on a lot, and he was so wonderful on all his current affairs and political programmes. And we're here to support him today and his great cause and we hope to have a good day and fair play to Charlie, he's a legend. Great to see the, the green and red hat on today yeah, for this yeah, climb. Yeah, a few requests maybe, it might help us tomorrow against Kerry, hopefully, yeah. yeah. So. yeah you're originally from Ballyhonest? Ballyhonest County Mayo, yeah, Seamus Caulfield is my name. I'm, um, Originally from Ballyhonest, I'm working with Supermax and Papa John's and the uh, Plaza Group now based in Galway. Yeah, so yeah, and of course you're kind of giving some sponsorship yeah, to this uh, event. Our, our, uh, the Plaza Group and Supermax are sponsoring and supporting Charlie in the in the initiatives. You you were one of the first to climb uh, in the early hours of this yeah, morning. Yeah, I said uh, get it get it done early and get my pendants out of the way. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's beautiful. It's, we're so proud of it. I'm here, Mayo. You know, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> With the officer in charge of the Order of Malta in Westport, uh, people have been climbing since very early this morning. Yeah, we were out here at seven o'clock, and when we arrived, there were the car park was practically full when we arrived. So since then, there's a steady stream of people up the, going up the mountain. Yeah. And have you had any kind of injury so far today? We've had two uh, minor head injuries this morning, and they've been treated and discharged. <laughs> Laurie, you're the, the boss of this oh, group here, exactly. all the way from uh, Munkhoin. Yes, yeah, we're all friends of, of Vicky's from home in Munkhoin, and we're doing this today um, because Vicky can't be here, and her mum and dad, Gaby and John, and Lindsay are on the way to meet us, and her two brothers, Robbie and um, Johnny, and their wife and fiancé, and some of the, her nieces and nephews. So we're hoping we're going to get to the top and give a big yeah. shout out for Vicky today, who would love to have been here if she could. <laughs> Father Charlie, what a day. I believe your mother may have had something to do with this. <laughs> well, the child of Prague statues, I think we're out, Henry, all right. The weather forecast, I don't think it was what actually has come. So thanks be to God it has. We're worried about showers. Yesterday we were worried about cloud on the mountain for the air corps bringing in, bringing in the stuff and that. So thanks be to God. It's a great morning. There's a great buzz. I hear Claire and Charlie in the background there. You're talking to them already. So we're here, and thank God we're here. And it's thanks to, we would say, the people in Dublin but especially the people here in Morrisk and in Westport who've made this possible. It's wonderful to see the number of volunteers from, from our parish here from the various clubs that are involved from, from Abvi and it's just there's a great buzz around the place and I think this is something that has come at a particular time. I suppose last November we were still in the height of the pandemic, there was a lot of downness and depression and darkness around the place. In comes Charlie Bird, whatever he has sparked in people, and just watching the last few days and even the last few weeks when he was down going around the place with him and the, the absolute reaction he's getting from people, but also the reaction that people are getting from him. Like yesterday he was down in Westport Credit Union and he made a lovely speech and he said, look folks, he says, you're keeping me alive. And I think there's a, there's a bit of both going on, you know what I mean? I think there's a lot of people, you know, with invisible mountains to climb. Some of them you know what I mean? We'll never know what they have to climb. And this has sparked something in so many people. People who are down, people who are depressed, people who are bereaved, people who are ill, whatever it is. It has given them some bit of hope, some bit of lift. And if I can plug the, the main man himself, you know what I mean? We often think the Lord is far away from us in our, in, our, in our downness. But small signs, just like even the weather today, we know that we're not alone. <laughs> And 
and Daniel, have you have you climbed for Pat? This is my first time. I'm How ashamed to say. Well, I'm feeling fine now because I'm only at the bottom. <laughs> Talk to me when I'm at the top, or maybe when I'm back at the bottom again. It's great to see you, Henry. And you're performing up there. Well, we're going to sing certainly "Hail Glorious St Patrick." It'll be a It'll be a real privilege. I sang it in Tenerife on St. Patrick's Day, and I've sung it many places. Wherever we are in the world on St. Patrick's Day, I sing Hail Glorious St. Patrick, be it Sydney, New York, or wherever. Uh, so it'll be a great privilege to hopefully stand up there and sing it today. And what a beautiful day for the oh, time. Oh, we're blessed. We're blessed, absolutely. Thank you, Daniel. We'll Thanks a million. In, enjoy the day, Daniel, great. and good to see you. Will do. Well. Thank you. Guys, you just uh, climbed Copac. What time do you start climbing this morning? Just start climbing just after five o'clock. Are you up at four? Up at four, yeah. You're here for five. Yeah. And this is your first time in a long time? Yeah, I haven't done it in a couple of years. Um, so it was much tougher than I thought at the start, but we got through it in the end. I haven't climbed it for about 15 years, I'd say. But <laughs> How are you feeling today after climbing it? Great, no. They, they have steps up near the top as well, and it makes it a lot easier. Like So fair play to the boys that are putting in them. It's a great job. Yeah. And did you climb specially today for for, for climb for Charlie? Yes, we, we we decided I work with Jer and Emery is a friend of Jer, so we just we said we'd climb it this morning, yeah. yeah. Today is a post pandemic uh, sign to, to me a sign of Ireland saying that was horrible. We're better than that and we're going to do this together. There's something very special about what's happening in the air today. It's, it's more than, in many ways, more than Charlie. It's more than Pieta and it's more than motor neuron disease. It's about a country that needs to heal, a country that needs to be together and to help each other climb whatever mountain is, is in your head and your heart. Yeah, yeah Vicky Phelan um, was uh, on to me last night to, uh, uh, to say that she couldn't believe I sang with Michael Bublé. But she's sorry, just to say to you, we're thinking of her. To the, in other words, I say that she's in good spirits and she's an extraordinary person. And I said to her, we'd raise, we'd raise a glass or a walking stick to her uh, today. So yeah, she's in our hearts today. And one other question there. Um, when was the last time you uh, climbed Crow Patch? It was about 20 years ago, um, and I was a reporter on NRT Radio, and I said I'll go up Crow Patrick. So this is a reunion trip for me. Yeah, yeah, reunited oh, with the tip. Go, yeah, I've got to, I've got to catch the, the catch the guy. Thank you. Hello, come on, we're in this together. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Mayo, the best team in. <laughs> Flying it, delighted to be coming down. Great day, great to see so many people all out in, and uh, all for the best cause. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had a good chat with Charlie last night. Charlie and Vicky, this is all for you. Yeah, I may as well, but today's a very special day it's great to see all these people turn out and, and it's good to see good people doing good things you know it's good for the soul i have a new series uh, diy sos and that's why johnny aylward a friend of mine in the, in the show and he has motor neuron disease i didn't know a whole lot about it and um it's a, it's a very tough disease and a lot of people suffer from it. So what Charlie's doing, the awareness he's brought is unbelievable, you know. And Pieta House, you know, there's, you don't need an excuse to do good things, but if you did, it's a, that's as good an excuse as you'd need, you know. Wherever it may lead us, no one really knows. But we journey on together, our friendship keeps us strong. Your love and inspiration Flying it, you're flying it It's us hope to carry on Roger, I just came down So shine, shine a light Let it shine across our land Shine a light and together Mayo TV, uh, what a great channel that is What a great county this is If It's Mayo for Sam this year because and Look what you've done so keep going, Mayo. Thanks for the welcome. Thanks for the sunshine. Mwah. I want to say, Charlie, none of this would have happened without you. Um, it's important. It's beautiful. 
This country is the best country in the world. It's the kindest country in the world. It's the most generous country in the world. And when our back is against the wall, we stand up and we're counted. And I think it's a very good thing. It's been two long, dark years for Ireland. The sun is out. We're back in business. And God bless Charlie. How are you all doing? <laughs> we're nearly there. But by God, it's not easy. Oh, come to our aid, oh, come to our aid, in our 